Hey, Sean here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Uh, you, can, uh, you can see here that we're under construction. We're building a nice indoor putting green that's going to allow us to, uh, to do some chipping, some pitching, and some putting in our indoor facility here. And uh, that's just gonna bring you more videos on some short game in a more controlled environment. So it's gonna be a blast in the next couple of weeks. This should be ready by Monday. In the meantime, what I really like about this board here is you can use, and we're, we're gonna revisit the, uh, the address position, the braced tilt address position. because so I've had some questions regarding, you know, what happens to the club face when you brace your tilt? I feel like my club face is too open, feels like I'm going to the right. So I'm gonna address those issues for you. Now you notice I put a golf ball right here behind this board. And I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna pretend my club face, right, is a hammerhead and the golf ball is a nail. I'm gonna pretend that I'm hammering this ball through the board with my hammer, okay? So imagine I got a sledgehammer here. So I grab my sledgehammer, I get into position. You notice how I'm straddling the, uh, the board here. Now imagine a wall coming straight up from this position, I would definitely have to have my head behind that wall in order for me to have access to the back of this nail. If my head starts here, well obviously I can't even see the ball from here and you'll notice that this, is, this doesn't look like a, a, a powerful enough position. And if you could just, basically it's just a nice two by four, you can put it on the ground, put a ball behind it. If you could put a mirror in front of you so that you can see how you're, you're behind the board and behind that nail. So from this position here, if I do my standard position, standard grip, and then I get behind the board, you can see how that club face is opening up. So all I gotta do now is just square it up and regrip it. Now I'm in a position to hammer through the back of that ball, okay? Now in the back swing, you'll notice everything turns around that axis. See how my head stays in the same position? And then when I return, the head stays in that same position. And you'll notice that the only way that the head can remain there is if I've got something solid on my left side, my brace. So I take my back swing, plant my brace, then return through the golf ball, through the back of that golf ball. So you can see that this is a very, very powerful position to hammer through the golf ball, okay? If I had a sledgehammer, I would take my sledgehammer and toss it up. Remember what we talked about that medicine balls, we're tossing it back. That's in the, uh, the, uh, the video on, um, on all those training aids, okay? So from here, toss the hammer, let the weight of that hammer fall through that golf ball. Toss, boom. So I'm using the mass of my shoulders, arms, and club unit. I'm using the momentum from that to compress through the back of the ball. So my weight is braced here. So I got something very solid to pin that ball against. So that gives me the compression factor or what you hear on tour as the smash factor, okay? Very difficult to compress the ball when my head is out in front of the board. If you look in the mirror in front of you the, with the head out in front, you can see that I'm gonna be bending across the nail, okay? And uh, um, I, I, I won't be able to have a direct hit with that nail. So nice grip. Nice posture, brace your tilt. And you'll notice the club face will have a tendency to open a bit, you can square it up. I just basically leave it slightly open because my release right-handed comes through very assertively. And left-handed, I will leave it, I will, I'll have to square it up, so I'm gonna close it up a little bit more. And you will, this will be determined by your ball flight. If you see the ball flight curving to the left, the club face is too closed. And if you see the ball flight a little too high and a little too much to the right, then your club face is too open. And the reason why is because when you set up too straight, the, vertic the, the spine too vertical, and your grip, uh, many of you like to have a, what we call a weak grip, because it keeps the forearm nice and um, soft, and you like that relaxed sensation. Whereas if you bring that hand a little bit more on top, you'll see a lot of the tour players have a very strong grip. They have three to four knuckles showing on that lead hand, 
this will create a lot of torque in that left arm. This is that natural spring effect that's gonna have a tendency to help you square up that club face through impact. So if you have a tendency to slice the ball, it's obviously because of this. So when you get behind the ball, just readdress the club face and, and square it up. And then just to see from your angle, it'll, it'll really feels it, it feels closed from this angle here. Have somebody hold your club, move around front and have a look at the club face from the front and you'll notice that it's very much square and if it's closed, it's, very, it's closed very little, okay? So I hope this helped you set up better for your brace tilt and then if you have any questions on that, please let me know.